In the heart of the dense and vibrant rainforest of New Guinea lies a creature so rare many don't even know of its existence. We have a young adventurer going out through the woods and oh, look at this. He's spotted one. Can it be true? Yes. A sour watermelon. Prime in mating season. Oh, what do we have here? Male lemon riz, formerly known as the lemon razzle-dazzle. His coat shimmers with hues of vibrant yellow, are renowned for their striking appearance. An extraordinary spectacle unfolds within our very eyes. Quest to captivate a discerning female. But the courtship is not just merely about a spectacle. It's demonstrating his fitness and vitality, proving to the sour watermelon that he is worthy. But wait, we have a competing male. They must fight to the death. Guys, don't stop. Seriously. Seriously, don't fight. And there it is. The final blow. Ooh, that had to hurt. Put your hands together! He's done it. He has conquered. It is now time for them to do the mating ritual. Pick up your favorite flavor of Super Gummies at supergummies.co. Okay. Let's talk about these little guys. They're called Super Gummies. And it's a new company. So if you're in the surfing world, then you know who the Florence family is. And basically, some of their friends and family have started this company out of the North Shore of Hawaii. And it's a creatine supplement. Each gummy has one gram of creatine in it. And they just bootstrapped this off the ground. And I had made a video for them just quickly on my phone saying, you know, I like the product. They saw that. They reached out. They sent me some more product. And then that's when I wanted to make a really fun kind of quirky video. And so the premise of this video was to basically reenact the birds of paradise, but in a kind of ironic, somewhat 70s vibe. Ironically shitty is kind of what the theme I was going for. So I literally just went in my backyard. I filmed for maybe three different mornings, kind of just getting the shots. I definitely could have filmed the whole commercial and I don't know, a morning. I really wanted to get this beautiful, kind of YouTube iconic reaction moment where I make this funny video, I send it to Zora and the Florence family, and then I get these beautiful natural reactions of them going, oh my God, you're so funny. Brandon, this is the greatest. You're so awesome. None of that happened. Uh, I did get a reaction from Zord and Nathan. You can't really see a lot of the facial expressions, which is unfortunate because I know they loved it. It's really backlit, so you can't see anybody's faces. So this is kind of part of the reaction that I got from them. In the heart of the dense and vibrant rainforest of New Guinea <laughs> lies a creature so rare of its existence. <laughs> you have a young adventurer going out through the woods. And, oh, look at this. Spotted one, can be true? Yes. A sour watermelon. Prime in mating season. <laughs> oh, what do we have here? Male lemon roots. Probably known as the lemon rather than this coat shimmers with hues of vibrant yellow. A renowned for their striking appearance. An extraordinary <laughs> spectacle unfolds within our very eyes. Quest to captivate a discerning female. But the courtship is not just merely about a spectacle. It's demonstrating his fitness, vitality, proving to the sour watermelon that he is worthy. But wait, we have a competing male. They must fight to the death. <laughs>
<laughs> Pick up your favorite flavor of Super Gummies at supergummies.com. <laughs> that was amazing. That was actually sick. Wow. I really wanted that, like, iconic, like, put this on the thumbnail. Oh my god, it's so funny. Uh... Eh, would have been nice, but oh well. So, I'm just going to break down the video, how I made it, my thought process, where, when, how, why. So I shot this on my FX3, all natural light. That's kind of the nice thing about these cameras, is that you've got so much dynamic range that... If you're shooting in the shadows, you still get a lot of really good quality. And yeah, shot this. You could shoot this basically in an afternoon. You could really make this whole video in one day. I did like three. I find when I'm filming, it's easy to think that you got all the shots that you wanted because you kind of run through it and you get dozens and dozens of shots. And it looks good. And then when you actually start pulling them into the editing program and you start looking at everything, you start to pick up more of the detail. like. For instance, I shot a lot of this recording last night and I thought it was really good. And then I didn't like how my hair was. There was like fringing weird stuff. And to me, it was just so distracting. And then the light wasn't quite right. So I had to reshoot this whole talking scene again, which is unfortunate. And kind of the same thing goes for shooting this commercial. It was super easy to shoot. And I thought like one afternoon, boom I'll get it done and then when I'm putting all the stitches together it's like well you know that wasn't quite the shot and actually it'd be better if I whip pan like I I was gonna I was gonna edit two whip pans of him on the fence right before he's gonna do the WWE drop and hit the explosion but then I realized okay it's actually better if I just go and record it and do the whip pan like I'll set the stage up there and just do it naturally so I redid that one I did redid the kick one against the fence because the first one wasn't quite as good. Some of the fight scenes I did better. The one scene where they're like sitting and they're and they're staring each other down with and then she's wearing the glasses. That was also another day. So originally I was gonna kinda get like really thin fishing line so you couldn't see it and then get like a high angle of them jumping around. I ended up just doing it with my hands at first for doing a basically free commercial just for fun in my backyard. It works. It was good enough. If this was like a full-blown production of this is going to be on some broadcasting network, I definitely would have spent more time making the scene a little bit more cohesive and dynamic. But I think it was pretty funny. It was all about the sound design on this one because without it, it would be a lot less entertaining like when I throw the bag and I make the turkey sound and then landing it dunk on on the ground and then obviously when they're fighting I tried to make like you know I got swords hitting and glass breaking it wasn't just the po -po -po punch and that's what really kind of tied it all together all those little sound effects really brought it together and then I really wanted to get like at the end when when he falls onto it I was trying to reenact the the WWE kind of like I wanted to get an announcer basically like he's on the ropes and and getting some sort of fight announcement all of the free asset or not free assets but all the music licensing that i use i there wasn't quite exactly what i wanted and if i was going to make them a legitimate commercial i didn't want to steal or take copyright infringement issues was, so i just had to use the audio that i did so i ended up getting uh someone speaking spanish i think about football and then just like the the fighting bell and it, it kind of gets the point across but I could have definitely beefed that part up a little bit yeah I really wanted to end the video with like the new flavor coming out but it's not gonna be for a few months but then that would have been how like the blue Raz is basically born and then just trying to get these shots where you're making it land like that was pretty difficult but after a while like I was I would smush the bag down and it worked I think it was pretty funny cohesive to the point minute and a half video and then I'm still crafting another video for them I wanted something a little less ironic something more kind of workouty jazzy Daniel Schiffer style video i think later down the road we'll probably spend some more time and and actually craft a, a storyline 
and get something a little bit more dynamic. I I think it would be fun to get those boys in the gym, like morning light, get some get some haze and some sunbeams coming down, get kind of more nitty gritty workout style, like in in the gym on concrete in the park type of fast pace. And I've got a few shots. I, I put this into the uh, fish tank and was trying to get some of the color with the inked dyes. And I don't know, for whatever reason, I just wasn't quite getting what I wanted. I don't know if there's just too much saturation with, with the inks and the dyes. I even experimented with some contrasting RGB lights so like on the on the yellow I would put purple and just so you could kind of get some sort of dynamic depth in the shadows because it was just like 50 shades of yellow here are a few of the shots that I got around filming this Let me know what you think. I think this could be kind of a fun theme, like do mockumentaries and make reenact different movie scenes with these characters. So if you have any suggestions you'd like to see, Point Break, Breaking Bad, Cops, let me know in the comments below. Also, if you want to get some creatine gummies and you want to support this channel and my future fun commercial ad adventures, Hit the link down below, supergummies.co. They're really good. Watermelon's my favorite. And yeah, I hope you liked it. Have a good one.